Alright, I'm all set up. That didn't take too long, thankfully. So let's continue with some Immortals Phoenix Rising. Quite enjoying this so far. I've only played it once thus far, but I've been enjoying it. Pretty good game. Again, very Breath of the Wildish, but it's just different enough to be interesting. And again, I love Greek mythology stuff. And I do like the, the sense of humour this game exudes a bit. So we just got the glider, and now I can like explore the greater part of the worlds. So let's see where we can go next, and let's see how many uh, shrines and whatever I can unlock, and what kind of story aspects I can get to next. Maybe next time I stream this I should make the logo stand out a little bit more, maybe have like a, a drop shadow or something. I didn't really think about that. It can't, it's kind of hard to see a little bit. I mean you can see it, but it looks a little bit... You know, it doesn't pop out as much on that pink backdrop, but that's okay, I can fix that for next time. I hope I don't have to log back into the Ubisoft account thing again. I hope that like remembers that. That was a little bit of an inconvenience the last time I played this game where it's like, oh by the way, to play this game you need to log into your Ubisoft account. And I'm sitting here thinking, why? Right, so let's continue. Right, so I don't know where to go next. Also, I need to remember how to play this game. So that's going to be fun. Oh yeah, by the way, I mentioned this briefly earlier, but I'm going to mention it now. Uh, my headache is fully gone now, because I haven't had a headache in like over 48 hours at this point. Oh yeah, that's right, this was the last thing we did. We were looking at the potion thing. Right, so let's see, where should I go next? I guess I can go to my next destination, or I can look for a shrine. Let's see, is there a shrine within view? Let's see, what button is it to go into that? Bear with me, I'm trying to remember which button lets me go into that first person view thing. Yeah, this. See, apparently there's some... I'm noticing as I'm moving the camera, uh, there's some rumbling going on. I guess I can reveal this. Bolt of Tataros revealed. Uh, might go over there. Let's look around a little bit. Don't know if I want to fight that thing right now. Oh, jeez. I forgot I needed to heal myself. I forgot the controls, so I'm just like trying to relearn how to play this game. Okay, I figured out where the dodge button is. I need to play this more frequently so that I don't forget how to fucking do combat. Because while, like, I know I keep making comparisons to Breath of the Wild, but the combat feels more like Darksiders. And I always forget that, so... Right, so maybe, is that a shrine up there? I think that's a shrine I can go into. Or is that where the, the big bad is? That might be the volcano actually up there.
Let's see how do I crouch again. I'm gonna quickly review the controls because I forgot all the fucking buttons on this and I need to like see what, what does what. Uh, controls. Crouch, jump, dodge, parry. Okay. Wait, why does B button not crouch? Um. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, so it says the B button crouches, but the B button makes me jump. What the fuck does that? What? Why? Wait a minute. Did I swap the buttons? Wait a minute. Did I swap buttons around? Okay, give me one second. I think something might be up with my controller. No, no, the controller's fine. Uh, the A and B buttons are swapped for some reason. Unless I rebinded that, I don't remember if I did. Maybe I did do that. I actually think I rebinded the controllers for a specific reason. Right, there we go. Right, so... Where should I go from here? Vault of Tataros revealed. I'm guessing the vaults are like the shrines of this game. Um, another vault over there. Another vault over there. I'm finding quite a few vaults just by looking around here. And that's a good way to discover these things. Odious challenge. Chest revealed. Guess I'll go for that chest first. Ugh. Vault. Ambrosia. Yeah, Ambrosia is kind of important as well. I haven't even used my Ambrosia yet from the last time I played this, but I picked up a few of them. Well, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is go for that small lady, and then I'll go for the big one. Oh. Okay, good thing my horse didn't die there. <laughs> Wrong button. Horse, come back. Can I, can I fucking press the right button for once? There. Oh, Jesus, what are you? Okay, that's a new one. I'm not ready for it. Bye. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna tangle with you right now, Typhon. Bye. I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt to try that. I'm just going to head toward the library, thanks. Or library, library, whatever the fuck you call it. Vault of Tataros revealed. I guess I'll go over there first then. So yeah, I should play this game, like I said, I should play this game more often so I can remember, remember the controls. Or at the very least, I should like, maybe play a little bit of the game off the stream. Not, not like too much, just like maybe like 30 minutes or something before I stream the game, just so that I can remember, okay, this button does this, this button does that. Because right now I'm like, I've completely forgotten how to like control my character. And that can be a bit of an issue sometimes. Right, so here's the shrine. I guess the Vault of Tartarus is what the official name of the shrines are. I just call them the shrines because, you know, Breath of the Wilds. Well, it's a good thing there's no shortage of content here. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, bam, bam. Wow. A godly power you don't have yet is required to access this chest. Oh, okay, so I can't do this yet. How do I know which vaults I've not completed? Okay then. I'm not sure if there's like an easy indicator to say, hey, you, you need to finish this one if I want to come back to it later, because apparently I'm lacking something to finish that one. Okay then. Just when I thought I was going to get some action and that happens, the game's just like, hey, by the way, you can't do this. I mean, at least it was honest. At least it told me that I, I, I wasn't ready for it yet. Right, so where was I? Oh yeah, the library. Yeah, I'm playing the Switch version right now. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit, like, the graphics are a little bit muddy and stuff, but obviously compromises had to be made to get it to run on Switch. I'm surprised Ubisoft even put this on Switch to begin with, because they've got, like, this reputation, you know, to put their AAA games only on, like, the other systems and not on Nintendo platforms. But yeah, good, you just got some Ambrosia there, so that's good. I don't even know what Ambrosia is for, but apparently you use it to, like, power yourself up later in the game. So, eventually I can use that. Let's, uh, look for that library that I saw earlier. Something over there. Chest. Navigation challenge. Something over there, but I can't quite pinpoint it. You can tell it's near when you, the cursor starts glowing. You've just got to highlight this very specific spot. Yep. Ambrosia. I don't know where that library went. I kind of like, like, you know how in, like, Assassin's Creed, like, you find these radio tower things, like, the big clock towers, and then it, like, shows you all the interest points? I think I like this a little bit better, where it's, like, you stand, look in first person, and you find the things yourself. I think this works far better for these kind of games, to be honest. Is that Cerberus? I think that is Cerberus, actually. Actually, Wasn't expecting to run into Cerberus this early in the game. Let's see... Something over here, where is it? Okay. See, so yeah, I've been quite enjoying this so far, despite like the comparisons to Breath of the Wild. I'm guessing Ubisoft is glad that Breath of the Wild 2 didn't actually come out this year. Like, yeah, technically we did get a game from the Breath of the Wild series, but it's not like a traditional Zelda game. Speaking of, I need to get back to Age of Calamity. I haven't played that in weeks. I've been meaning to get, like, I was thinking about playing that tonight, but I was kind of wanting to play some more of this. So I think maybe tomorrow I'll stream that, if I stream tomorrow night. Because I really want to resume Age of Calamity and see where that game's story goes. Another vault. Or a shrine. Ambrosia. I'm using gyro right now just because I'm lazy.
Where did I see that? I saw it for a minute, but... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I found a new area. Valley of Eternal Spring. I forgot how to grab shit. More specifically, I forgot how to like grab and throw shit. I'll just do that instead, fuck it. Alright, that works. Yeah, get fucked, bear. Again, I just love seeing them just flying off like that. It's hilarious. Like, that never gets old for me. So yeah, opening up with a stealth attack is really good because it does so much damage. It does like half their health bar worth of damage. It's that strong. So I think, I think the vaults that are like orange in colour and not red are the ones that you've completed. Because I see like a vault symbol but it's like golden or orange in colour. Like if I go into this thing again. Yeah, I think that's like a previous vault that I've already been to. I'll just remove that. Yeah, so these check marks and like golden symbols, I guess these are all finished. So I guess that's how you tell the difference between a vault you've done and one you've not. This one I don't know if I've done yet because that one's red. I guess I'll go check that one out. Yeah, we'll put a pin on that one so that I can follow it. So yeah, you can run around, but it costs stamina, so can't like just do it all the time. I mean, at least it at least it landed on its head, not in the way I planned, mind you, but it worked kind of. Flurry slashes. I had to find some more of those little fruit things, pomegranates, so that I can get some more potions.
Oh, there's pomegranate. That works. I found a pomegranate tree. Let me just get all these pomegranate fruits so that I can keep them stored away for later. Again, a little bit of Breath of the Wild ish stuff. I'm fine with that. Again, this this playthrough is just going to be me comparing it to Breath of the Wild, as most people do. Like, it's unashamedly, like, copying, like, Breath, what makes Breath of the Wild so, like, engrossing and addictive. But unlike most Breath of the Wild, like, attempts, I guess this one's actually pretty competent. And again, I love the Greek mythology surrounding it, and I do love the, the whole, you know, the, the banter back and forth between, like, Prometheus and uh, Zeus and that. Like, the, the whole sense of humour with this game, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it so far. Just this world in general is pretty good. Again, that never gets fucking old to see them fly like that. What is that? The hell was that noise? Oh, it's chickens. Yeah, you can kill chickens in this game, but you don't get punished for it. In fact, I think the game actively encourages you to kill chickens in this game. For whatever reason. Oh, there's so many pom pomegranates up here, that's excellent. This will definitely help me. I wonder if I can chop down the trees, actually, maybe... Yeah, that works. That's even better. Holy shit. So many. I don't know if I can chop down the tree per se, but I can at least hit it with my axe to make them all fall. Right, so for a while now I was lacking these fruits to actually get like healing. Now I've got tons of them. So I don't need to worry about that for a while. When I find that potion area, I'm going to make more potions. Like, you can either eat them individually, or you can, like, use several of them to make, like, a giant potion flask. So, next time I find that potion area, I can make some. So, where was that spot? Uh, over here. Even though this, the Switch version obviously has a bit of a visual downgrade, the, the art style still carries over quite nicely, I have to say. Yeah, the frame rate is not as good and it's a little bit on the body side, but you know what? It still looks pretty damn good. Ubisoft done a good job with this one. Nope, I ran right past it. I need to follow that marker. I think I did this one already, or did I not? I, I don't. I don't remember if I did this. I guess I didn't do this one. Oh, jeez. I don't remember how to change targets. There we go. 
I need to practice something up real quick. I need to remember how you like pick up and throw things because I know you can get like a throwing arc. I just don't remember how you do that, so I'm gonna quickly figure that out. Let me chop a tree down to like practice. So I know how you pick stuff up. You do this, kind of. Well, at least I thought that was the grabbing button. Apparently not. I guess you can't pick up logs, it's like stones you've got to pick up. Where's a rock when you need one? I'll interact with that statue in a second. Let me just look for a rock real quick so I can try to practice with something. Again, I haven't, I've forgotten like most of the mechanics since I last, last played this game. The sooner I can relearn everything, the better, because then I will, I'll have less trouble. Okay, here's... Wait, no. I thought that was a boulder there. Never mind, that's just part of the environment. Yeah, I can't, can't seem to find a boulder. We'll, we'll look for a boulder later. Let me just go check this out. So it was down here. Right, so apparently there's a rift here. Um... I don't know what to do here. I thought I could just like jump into it and teleport, but I guess not. Unless I'm supposed to like hit it. Not sure what to do here. I guess I'm not ready for that yet. Right, okay, so let's just... I'll come back to that. Right, so where am I on the map right now? Let's look around. Uh... Okay, so right now I'm over here, and, uh... I mean, I can explore this place, but it's still, like, clouded, like, up, so I can't really properly see what it is. I think there's, like, a certain place you need to go to to, like, uncover this whole area. I think I need to, like, go to the middle, probably. See a bunch of stuff going on down there. Chest down there being guarded. Fresco challenge. Sounds like a drink. I don't know what an odious challenge is yet. I don't think I've done that. Uh, where did I see that? Right, so let me practice this then. Oh, hey, materials. Right, so I pick that up. Try and remember how... Oh, it tells you right there, right? ZR to throw. That's what I was trying to do the last time. Hold the ZR button to charge through. Right, 
notice. I saw a chest nearby. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, there's a vault down there. Gotta go for that chest. That looks like it might be important. Alright, so apparently some shrubbery can contain gems. Discovered the Hall of the Gods. I'm guessing that's it up there. So I haven't really made much progress since I've stopped playing this tonight, but I kind of like this. Just like, running around, just doing whatever you want, just see what you can find. Again, it gives you that feeling like Breath of the Wild. I hope people are not like getting tired of me like, drawing direct comparisons to that game. So I've got some additional thoughts on that Nintendo World, uh, Super Nintendo World theme park that they shown during that, like, Direct the other day. Like, I talked about, like, during that Donkey Kong Country 3 uh, session that I did with Chod that I've never been to an amusement park. Like, I've never been to, like, Disneyland or Disney World or anything like that. So it's not really a thing that I've ever done. That said, if I ever go to a theme park or an amusement park in my lifetime, I would probably go to that. Because Super Mario World, the, the Super Mario Nintendo World, whatever the fuck, like they're calling it Super Nintendo World, but it's more like Super Mario Worlds, because you know it's like more themed to like Mario and not other Nintendo franchises. But that aside, um, it looks really cool. It looks really fun. There's a lot of like cool little activities you can do, and the merchandising in the cafe look fantastic. So probably not going to go there next year because you know we're still like COVID is still at large. There's a lot of shit going on. But maybe in a few years or so, when I'm ready to, like, you know, travel again, maybe I'll actually go and check that out. I kind of want to go and see it, actually. I kind of want to go there, but obviously it's not going to be anytime soon. But yeah, the Super Nintendo World thing. I'm just going to call... Yeah, Super Nintendo Worlds. I keep getting the name mixed up because, again, it's more of a Mario thing than Nintendo in general, but what aside, that aside, I'm going to... Uh, words. Word salads. Kind of. But yeah, um, it looks fun. And it probably is fun. Like, assuming I would even be able to, like, go to, like, if I was able to have the time to, like, travel to Japan to, like, go to that thing. You know it's going to be really fucking busy day one anyway. And the same thing when it, like, like, because they're going to, like, expand it out to like for like universal florida and some other places in the world that i can't remember right now but it's gonna be really fucking busy at first in fact it'll be busy for a while i would think because you know people are gonna go there just for the novelty of it but maybe eventually maybe in like two or three years or something if i have the time and money and the ability to like travel to one of those universal theme parks. I would definitely want to go check it out. I think it would be a, like a fun thing. But again, not anytime soon. Right, I think I'm almost at the, the Hall of the Gods. Yep, there it is there. Yeah, you can probably increase your stamina if you can find a certain thing in the game. Maybe that's what the Ambrosia is for. Nice. Wait, why has that got big robotic hands? Okay, that's interesting. It's got like big robotic pincer hands. It's like... What do you, you call that guy from Futurama? Clamps? Like the robot mafia? Like the guy called Clamps? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I'll give him the clamps! The sight of the Great Hall 
took Phoenix's breath away. Huh? This is incredible. It's all right. Could use some updating. The color motif is a bit played out. I forgot how ridiculous my avatar so looks in this game. We're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was the Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I got to get back into that kind of shape again. For thousands of years, Typhon festered, until Helios was eclipsed, and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates the Charud land from the underworld! Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble, devour, and turn these nightfall's gods to dust! Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stay to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. I hope I didn't kill that chicken that that guy turned into. <laughs> the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of God's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost... So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kinda lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? Again, I love this game since I came up. <laughs> the vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. <sighs> huh. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck. I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. 
Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. All right, well, my objective is clear then. Phoenix. Oh, I didn't get to catch with that set there. Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman, and unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. Yeah, I think I picked up a couple Charon coins the last time I played this. Coins of Charon. Or Charon. Gods and monsters. Multiple quests accepted. Alright. Right, so let's see what this is all about then. Yes, yeah, so I can use those coins. How many have I got? I've got ten. So I can... Let's see. Godly powers... Quick throw. Oh, that's cool. R button to quick throw. Heracles' leap. Oh, you can pull yourself toward a flying enemy. That's cool. Let's see. Heavy lifting. Pull heavier objects. Increases through an object damage by 50%. That could be good, but that's a lot of money. Plus, I need to buy this one first before I can buy that one, and can't afford both right now, so that's not happening anytime soon. I don't think I bought this yet. Yeah, let me look at these skills, see what kind of things I've got here. Ares is Wrath. That looks alright. Dash forward and strike all the enemies in your path. A flurry of five hits deals up to 85 damage and 125 stun. L plus Y. I think this might be a good one for like combat, so I'm gonna go with that one. I'll come back here later once I get some more of these coins. Athena's dash is now unlocked. Yep, so there's Athena's dash. It uses all my stamina though, but it might be good in a pinch. I guess I can... let me, let me try something. Okay, so I can still attack while I'm waiting for the stamina to recharge. That's good. What is this? Is this cosmetics? It's like a fucking barber. <laughs> it's a barber chair. Is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh, still better than visiting the dentist. Hardy har har. So I'm guessing this is where I can change my cosmetics in this game, yeah. I mean, wh why don't we change up a little bit? I mean, I kind of like the, the jolly green giant, but let's, let's do something a little bit different. Uh, let's change... Let's see, maybe I can make myself into Homer Simpson if I can change the the body skin colour. How do I change? I think it's over here. Oh no, there's no yellow for the body. Guess we could do blue for now. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Even more manly beard. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, let's give our, ourselves a bit more of the a ginger quality. There we go. And the, the hair should also be ginger to match up with that. 
There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, how do I? Okay. All right, cool. What is this? Ah, there's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. Oh, this you is where I use it. Protection. Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. Upgrade One Phoenix's time, maximum health. That That's Phoenix what it does. And destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. So, Epic! Yes, you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. <sighs> okay, well, I think I've got enough ambrosia to upgrade my health a little bit, so let's get to it. Uh, wait, how did I do it? How do I not have enough? Okay, I can't seem to do it. I'm clicking, nothing's happening. I guess I don't have enough yet. I've got six. But okay, I'll, I guess I have to come back to that then. That sucks. I'm sure there's a lot of cutscenes up here. Ooh, is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. He was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The adamantine he'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. But the good thing is, like, all, like this Hall of the Gods area has a lot of good useful stuff, so I can quick travel back here later if I want to, like, get some stuff done. Oh, that's good. I can carry more potions. Uh, let's see what else I can do before I commit. Carry more arrows. Increase my defense. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff up here. Um, right, I'm going to increase my axe damage. more damage now. Fantastic. Alright, so what else is up here? A potion thing? Oh yeah, we saw one of these already, didn't we? Nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence, and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. Right, so I've got lots of pomegranate now, so I can make... There we go. Six pomegranate potions. Oh, I see. Right, okay then. Um... Right. So yeah, there's one for stamina. I think I'll just craft max on that one. There we go. I don't have enough to even make one of these. Right, well, that's good. I've got plenty of potions that will do me for now. So that's no longer an issue. What else do we have up here? Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive. So I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, Merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. 
I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices? Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Progress through Hermes' heroic tasks to earn exclusive rewards. Let me know if you're in the market Complete life tasks to earn Electrum and trade that for the merchandise, okay? Let's have a look, see what we got here. I always thought the hype about Adelanta was a bit overblown. Maybe it's about time someone challenged her as a hunter. Not me though, obviously some other eager beaver. Uh, five days remaining. So, where? Hunter hype? Atlanta? Sure, I'll accept that. Can you rival me as a master thief? Let's see. Let's see what goodies you can snag from the chest in the vaults of Tataros. Dibs on who? Dibs on any mismatched shoes that you find. Uh, I'll track this one for now because this one's got coins. That would be nice. Defeat 10 animals. Okay. Alright. Sounds good. Click Zeus's lightning to upgrade Phoenix Mass a maximum stamina. Oh, okay, this so here is. Train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. Alright, well, do I have enough Zeus Lightning to actually do this right now? Apparently, yes. Right, so I think I've got five chunks of stamina now, maybe. Oh, I got six chunks. Nice. Right, that's going to be very useful. I'm here selling. If you're buying. Awesome. Right, well, I think that's everything that I've checked out now. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. So I'll remember to come back to the Hall of the Gods if I need to get any important shit done. I can quick travel back here now. Also, I can now do this, which costs a lot of stamina, but it's a very powerful move, so that could be pretty good. Right, where do I want to go in next? I guess I'll do the, the hunting animals quest right now so I can get some more coins and extra uh, extra stuff. It's pretty fun, this. Chest. I think the chest that have got like, you know, that like armor thing attached to it, that may be like a more important chest compared to, say, this one. But this looks like a common chest, this looks like an uncommon chest. So, yeah. Might want to go after those more uncommon looking ones. I think the animals I'm going for are over there, so why don't we do that first? Let's go that way. Oh wait, I've got five chunks, not six. I misread. Still, that's that's an improvement. I'll take it. Hey, let's go.
I can tell this is going to be a fun game. I haven't really said much so far just because, again, it's a little bit slow to start and it's like I'm, I'm still getting my bearings with it, but it's a pretty good game. Definitely one of the more fun Ubisoft games that I've played in quite some time. And now that I know where my base of operations is, where I can upgrade my shit, that's going to make things a whole lot better. Oh yeah, my, uh, my axe is much stronger now as well. Oh yeah, the volume. Sorry. I forgot the volume was still turned up from those cutscenes earlier. I had to turn that back down. Okay, so that didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. But that worked. Right in the face. Pow, right in the kisser. Okay, it looks like there's Lieutenant Alio, the Stormswift. I guess that's like a boss character. I've defeated two animals so far, so I guess I'll just keep looking for animals. Ambrosia. I'll need that. Yeah, I don't know if I want to tangle with that right now. Let's just ignore that for the moment. I'll come back to that. Yeah, let's look for some more animals in the meantime. Oh, nice pomegranates. All laid out nicely for me. Charge attack is so fucking good. I love it. I managed to get two charge attacks in there since I got a little bit of extra stamina to spare. I see some mounts down there. Not sure if I've tamed those ones yet. Uh, they look the same as the ones that I tamed before. Maybe I've got these ones tamed. I won't know for sure until I get close enough to them. Oh no, I've got these ones. Right, okay. You know what game I need to play sometime? Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Because I have the game, I've just never played it. Like, I've got the HD version on the PS4. I'm glad that you can, like, pick up shit while you're on the, the horse. That's really good. I don't know if you can do that in Breath of the Wild, actually. Maybe in Breath of the Wild you've got to get off the horse to, like, do that. I don't remember. It's been, like, three and a half years since I played that game. There's some more bells. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> nice. Oh, 
Oof. Mm. Four more animals to go. This looks like an interesting hot spot. Okay, apparently there's an ambrosia up here. So that's good. I think that maybe the last ambrosia I'll need to upgrade my, my strength. Or my max health, rather. Yeah, it's up there. It's guarded by a bear. At least I think that's a bear. It's guarded by something. That's not a bear. What is that? Is that a monkey? Headshots! Oh jeez. I think that's a, a Cyclops, actually. Big ol' Cyclops. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a Cyclops. Hopefully he didn't see where I went. I don't know if I want to fight the Cyclops right now, but what I'm going to do is, is pick up the Ambrosia and just get the fuck out of here. Nice. Cyclops is none the wiser. In fact, maybe if I st I'm going to do something very risky. I'm going to stealth attack and see if I can take him on. This may be a very dumb idea. If I need to bail out, I'll just grab the Ambrosia. Uh, collect. Oh, shit. Okay, well, lesson learned. I'll try to do what I did before, see if I can stun him by throwing rocks into his face. Nice. Gotta watch out for those swipes, they're probably gonna do a lot of damage. In fact, I should play safe and use a pomegranate or two to get myself up from half health. Also, no rocks. I'm on my own, so I can't really get any rocks here. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, 
I got this. Yeah, get fucked. First Cyclops taken down. That felt satisfying. Right, now I can claim my prize. I'm sure it's possible to take the Ambrosia without being alerted, but you know. It felt good to take him out. It was worth the, the risk, I guess. You've collected enough Ambrosia to upgrade Phoenix's max health. Right, so let me kill the rest of the animals that I need and I'm going to go back there and do that. Look how much shit is on the screen at once. Like, yeah, the frame rate kind of tanks a little bit, but since I'm, like, gliding, it's not really that important at the moment. This would be a good place to look for, you know, extra stuff. Navigation challenge. What else we got around here? So yeah, this first person view thing is going to be very important. I can tell. For finding things that you need. Got to do this very often. There's the Vault of Tataros. Chest. Big Lyrae. What is that? Scout the region from Aphrodite's statue. Uh, I'll do that later. That looks like an important thing, like a story thing, so... I'll check that later on. Also, there's an Ambrosia down there, but I don't know how far away it is. I think it's down there. Yeah, it's 220 meters away. I could probably go down there and get that. I don't know what the... I think this is materials. But I'll try gliding down there, grab that, and then I'm going to go down and get the Ambrosia. See if I can find any wildlife along the way. I hope you guys are enjoying watching me play this so far, because I wasn't... I almost didn't pick this game up. I didn't pick up at launch. I like picked up like a couple weeks after it came out. Like, you know, once I recovered from those migraines that I was having for the last few weeks. And I'm glad that I did pick it up because this is actually a pretty good game. Oh, there's like griffins down there. Let's hope they're not super powerful. Like, way too powerful. If they are, I'll have to bail. Get up. Oh no, these are regular ones. Shit. Oh jeez. That was close. I know that's the cheap way to finish them off, but it works. There we go. Fantastic. Looks like there's something down there. Chest. Oh nice, I've got enough coins now to upgrade my skills. Nice. I need to find some more pomegranates. I mean, I'm not short on, like, pomegranate potions, but I'm running out of pomegranates themselves. What did I get? Okay, that's good. I got a bunch of golden amber and some, like, important materials. 
Golden Amber's gonna come in handy for later. Golden Amber is from my skill tree, so that I can like upgrade specific skills. Nice. Stealth attack just insta kills it. Two more animals. Once I kill the animals that I need, I'm going to head back to the Hall of the Gods and get some stuff done. Fresco challenge. Some big enemies down there. Oh, there's some gorgons down there. I think that's what they're called, those big, like, snake guys. I wonder, actually, um, what if I... Hmm. Gonna try something, hang on. I wonder if I can smack him on the head from up here. That'd be kind of cool. Let's if I can move the camera down any lower than this. I don't think I can. Where is he? Where, where are the Gorgons? Yeah, this isn't a good am a camera angle. Uh, drop. Yeah, let's drop that. I can't. When I'm holding that thing, I can't turn the camera all the way down like this because it only goes down to about here-ish. So I'm not getting a good aiming angle, unfortunately. Maybe if I bring a bit closer down, I can actually see where I'm aiming. Yeah, let's drop it about here. See where those Gorgons are at. Yeah, there they are. Let's see, can I aim from here? That's the million dollar question right now. Will that hit? Shit. Oh well. I tried to be quick there because I wasn't sure if they were going to like stay there or move. Don't know if I want to tangle with them right now. There's Ambrosia. I'll kill those bears first and I'll grab the Ambrosia. Since I need to kill some wildlife anyway. So that dash attack that I'm doing, that kind of acts as like a counter, like if they wind up an attack you can stun them by like using that. At least that's what it seems like for the bears. So that definitely helps if you like time that just right. see some more pomegranates over there. I'll just use that for safety. Couldn't get that that um, flurry rush off there. Which is unfortunate. I wasted a potion, but that's okay. I've still got plenty of potions left. That's good. I'm fine. There we go. I don't know if I need to go back to claim my reward. Maybe I do have to do that. Let me get that ambrosia. There is. There's also daily challenges in this game. Is that the live challenges then? See, I'm hoping, like, I'm not sure if this game will do this, but I'm hoping this game doesn't, like, you know, get you from, like, doing certain things because it, like, kind of makes you grind and shit. Because that's like something that like Ubisoft's done in like previous games. Like there was an Assassin's Creed game they did that sort of shit in. I think it was Assassin's Creed Odyssey actually. What is this? Oh, Golden Amber. Excellent. Golden Amber's quite rare material that one needs. Right, let me grab this shit. 
and then we'll head back to the Hall of the Gods. Let me just see if there's any more. Yep, there's some more over here. Just so I can make some more potions when I go back there. I forgot how to do the... Ah, there it is. Oh, we got a big shielded one over here. I'll do him last. I'll deal with him after I deal with these other guys, because that one might be difficult to fight with that armor. Okay, apparently that breaks the shield as well, that dash attack. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a parry move in this game as well. Nice. Wrong target. Nice. Nice! I haven't killed everyone, but at least I got rid of him. <laughs> Just break for the shield, that works. There we go. Easy. So can I go in this rift? Yep, apparently I can. Right, so I'll do this then, and then I'll head back to the Hall of the Gods. May as well be doing this since I'm here. That's assuming that I've got the god powers required to actually do this one right now. For all I know, I might not have what I need. Atlas's burden. Can I... Okay. I can't, like, physically lift this, but I can push it. That's good enough, I guess. Not sure how to move this one, though. Any ideas? Oh wait, am I supposed to hit this button to get the other one, or...? No? Not sure what I'm supposed to do with that one then. Ah, oh, fuck.
Maybe I'm supposed to have it with the salt. Use the ball to push it off. Oh, okay. I didn't realise you could do that, thanks. Right, now I can actually move it. Oh, fuck. Don't want that to fall off the edge. I don't know which one I'm supposed to put on, on here and which one I'm supposed to take with me. Does this one work on here, I wonder? Okay, it does. There's a bit of a puzzle element here. Right, I see what's going on now. I like this puzzle so far, this is a pretty good one. No, we're fine. I thought I was going to fall there. I can't really think of much to talk about right now, to be honest. We're a few days away from Christmas. And like I said, I won't be streaming too much for the rest of the year, even though I'm feeling much better now. Just been te a terrible December for me, really. But yeah, I think starting with January, I'm going to like try to catch up on my backlog of games, because like, I've got a lot of games I've been streaming, and I'm going to be adding one more game to that ever-growing fucking backlog. In a couple of days, I'm going to be doing uh, Super Meat Boy Forever. But yeah, starting in January, I'm going to like try to catch up and get everything done, if not most of it, in that month. And that includes Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, which I've been slacking on this year. And then, hopefully if I can get most of that done, I can start some new stuff like Spyro next year. Uh, let's see, am I missing something? I think I need to push that... Sorry, this is what happens when I start talking. I don't... Like, when I talk, I don't think. I need to bring... Okay, hang on a second. I 
I may be wrong, but I think I need to take this over here. Wait, what did that change? This might be a mistake. Okay, never mind. Hang on. Uh, right, okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. One second. I think I need to put... Oh! Okay, that's fine. It respawns there. Um, Give me one second. I'm, I'm trying to think out this one out, I think. Maybe that's supposed to go there, actually. And this one, I think, sits here. Right, so now I think I need to take this one down here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, like, I was getting into the groove of this for a second and I forgot how I, what I was supposed to be doing next, but I think I need to take this down here. Let that push that over there. Yeah, that works. Oh, did I... No, we're good. I thought I accidentally pushed that block, the ball off course there, but no, we're, we're fine. But I think we're almost done with the puzzle then. I think we're just coming up to the end of it. Yeah, it seems like we're coming up to the end of it. We just need to go around this way now to get the other balls. Balls. Don't know if this one can even go over here. I would assume yes. Shit. Oh, fuck. I think I done goofed. I didn't realise that one couldn't be pushed by the updraft. It's too heavy. So, I guess I have to drop that now. Please respawn over here. Okay, good. I'm glad they checkpoint these things like it doesn't put it all the way back down to the bottom because that would really fucking suck if you had to like do that entire puzzle all over again. So I need to bring the hollow one over to the, the gust of winds. I'm not sure what that one did exactly. Let me take that off and back on just to see what it changed. Okay, well it made those two a turn on. I think. Yeah. Want land. Land. <laughs> land. There we go. The physics. The physics, ladies and gentlemen. 
So I've solved the puzzle, but I'm noticing there's a thing that, I'm, that I haven't fully done. Which might be like an optional Tataros chest, so maybe I should finish that. Like, I think there's like a chest up there. Yeah, seems like there is. Uh, I need to get that other hollow ball up here, I think. Unless... Unless I'm supposed to bring this one. I guess I'm supposed to bring that hollow ball over. Right, so I'm not quite done yet. I'm going to go get this optional chest. Or whatever it is. I'm assuming it's an optional chest, which would be useful. This may take an extra five minutes, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, don't fall. It's an optional Tataros chest. Hubris of the One-Eyed Giant. So, wait a minute, what was that? I don't know what that was. Like, I, I know what its name was, but I don't know what it actually was, like, where I found it. Oh, here it is. Plus 30% defense against unique enemies, plus extra 2 to combo meter when you hit against unique enemies. I mean, compare that to this one. Plus one... Wait, what am I wearing right now? Plus one to health chunks. Plus one to stamina. Uh, this one... I mean, this one sounds pretty cool. More defense for, like, unique enemies. So yeah, I think I'll try that for a bit. I only have one axe so far. One bow. Wait, why is there an exclamation mark there? No reason. <laughs> you can even look at the different mounts that you found so far. Sepia. Alright, we've got a new armor. I guess that was worth it. I wonder, if I toss that down, will that take will that go back up over there? I hope so. Uh, I don't think it did actually. I don't know where it went. Ah, shit. I guess it went down here somewhere. Alright, well bear with me then because I don't know where that... I, I shouldn't have did that. I thought it was going to like go back up there because that's where it was checkpointed at, but no. Apparently that was not what that was for. It's all the fucking way back down there. Well, that was entirely on me. Why can't I grab this? I was just about to finish that as well. That Okay, well... Fuck you then. Uh, here we go. Time to waste another five million years getting this done. I'll try to do this as quickly as possible now that I know what I'm doing. Sorry. Can I sprint? No. I mean, yeah, I can, but I cannot sprint while pushing this. That would make that would alleviate things a little bit if I could do that. That's kind of bullshit though, like there was a checkpoint system in place so that the ball would go back up to the, you know, the higher part of the level. 
but apparently not if you push it off that one part, so that's a little bit annoying. I mean, it was my fault for pushing it off to begin with, maybe I shouldn't have did that, but the point is, the president was set for the checkpoint system to be in place, and for some reason it just failed me, so... I don't think I can entirely put the blame on myself, but whatever, I'll do it anyway. Right, well, never mind. We'll, we'll just forget about it. I'll just deal with it. The sooner I can get this done, the sooner I can go back to the Hall of the Gods and get all that good shit. Keep forgetting you press the A button to like cancel the glides. Oh, bullshit! See, that's what I was worried about the first time. Okay, where did, where did that go? Oh, don't tell me it went. Oh, fuck you! No fucking way did it just put that all the way back down. Okay, that one I can't fucking blame myself. That was the game. Fuck you. Alright, let's go get the ball again. Let's go take it back down. Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed by that, not gonna lie. I mean, you can tell it in my voice. Fall back there. Just go back down to the beginning, please. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. I can't fucking believe that. Please. Ultra speed run, let's go. Again, the run button would make this go by a lot more uh, smoothly, just so I can, like, you know, sprint while rolling this thing. So I don't mind the puzzle itself, it's just when shit like that happens and you're forced to, like, reset the entire thing all over again. I'm beginning to think that going for that extra piece of armor was not worth the effort after all, because now I've got to, like, endure all this. I'm gonna miss that. Uh, nope, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Did you see the way he just teleported up there? Make sure that goes in. Right, I'll be careful with how I place this this time. Because it's mostly automated, but that time it kinda fucked up. If I do it in a straight line, it should theoretically work. Oh, Alright, 
We're good. Oh. All right, we're good. Right, we're almost done. I mean, it's not a super long puzzle, but it feels like it when you have to like go all the way back down. It starts to feel like a bit of a chore when that happens. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! I was worried there because I thought it like kind of went off to the side there and fell off the pit, but no. I mean, I'd rather make my avatar like break his fucking neck and get a concussion than like it falling all the way back down to, you know, falling and then having you to like do the whole thing again. I'll gladly take that. Right, we're almost there. Yeah, I'd like to apologise for taking so long with this one. I've been in here for what feels like almost half an hour at this point. Probably like 25 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes, maybe. Oh yeah, I need to put that one here first, so that I can get the other ball up here. Alright, we're pretty much done. Finally. Oof. I'm alright. Took long enough. Let's get going. So yeah, that annoyance aside, that was a decent puzzle area. A, a decent puzzle like challenge. I liked it. It still sucked that I was like forced to do that entire thing again like twice, but whatever. It's done now. I don't have to like touch it again. Especially since I got the, the side chest. So yeah, you're pretty much encouraged to do these uh, these uh, shrine things. The I forgot what it's called. The something of Tataros. Because then I can like upgrade my stamina and shit. So I think I need to do like another five of those, like four or five of those, and then I can like get another stamina bar thing, stamina chunk. I'm really bad at collecting these little diamonds during that loading screen. I only got one. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly. Like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet. Who am I kidding? I'm in way over my head. I don't know if anyone saw the graphics glitch out there for like one frame. Maybe it was my capture card, maybe it was the game, who knows. So yeah, I can tell if the vault is complete because it just like disappears, so that's good to know. Right, so let's go back to the Hall of the Gods now, finally. Um... 
Hall of the Gods is... Here it is. Yeah, I guess the armor can be helpful for certain situations. Right, so now I've got a bunch of stuff to do. I've got enough Ambrosia to increase my stamina, was it? I forgot what the Ambrosia was for, but it, I've got enough of it this time. I think it's to increase my health, actually. Sure is quiet. That's not the worst, I guess. Hephaestus whining. Athena and Aphrodite bickering. Eh? Eh? Nope, that's not it. Yeah. Why are we doing this again? Which one was the Ambrosia thing again? Might as well make these right now. I think this is the Ambrosia port, actually. Yeah, here it is. There we go. Now I've got more health. So let's see how much of a difference does that do. I can't really see how much health I've got right now since I'm not in combat. I guess I'll find out soon. Unless I can see it in my pause menu. Uh, it looks about the same. Maybe it'll be a bit more obvious when I get into combat. Uh, let me upgrade... Wasn't there something else? I was... Oh yeah, I was going to check in with my quest. Right, so this quest is complete. Got all my good shit. Supernatural skirmish. Defeat soldiers of the dead. I should just accept all of these, to be honest. Uh, here's my dailies. Four hours left. Collect flower nectar, five of five. And collect attack potions, zero of two. Collect attack potions. Can I... Make attack potions? Return to the Hall of the Gods? Um, wait a minute. Oh, collect Ember. Right, okay, well I've done that, so I just need to like... Take that, there we go, that's that complete. <laughs> that was quick. I was confused there because it was like collect Ambrosia, but then the, the thing said return to the Hall of the Gods, and I'm like, oh wait a minute, it's because I've got the Ambrosia. Faithful steeds. I need to find them one more mount. Complete myth challenge to a five. Alright, uh, which one do I want to track? I guess I could track that, or... I'm trying to think which one might be good to do right now. I mean, this one has a Zeus Lightning, so this one might be worth doing. Complete Myth Challenges. Oh yeah, I need to make attack potions. Let's do that now. Get that one finished. That's assuming I've got enough to make attack potions. Defense. Right, here we go, attack. I can only make... Oh, I don't even have enough to make one. I'll need to get some more. I don't, I don't know if I can track the materials required for that, because I don't know where to find those. Steed one is almost done. Yeah, I don't know if I can find another horse that's not sepia. So 
there's an Ambrosia down there. I'm going to try going for that rare chest actually because that might be worth going for. Let's go. Let's go check out. This is a nice relaxing game as well. Try to get away from that. There's a rare chest over here somewhere, but I don't know exactly what it is. I suppose I could put a pen on it, actually. That works. What is this? Collect. Oh, there's materials here. Oh, these are what I'm looking for, Olympian figs. That's how you make attack potions. But at least I know what those look like now, so I just have to look for those. Yeah, I'm going to be doing more Hyrule Warriors soon. I don't know when exactly, but I do plan to resume streaming that. Ugh. That other fucking bear intercepted. Oh jeez. Yeah, I don't want to do that on the edge. Yeah, fucking send them flying. Again, that will never get old. Just watch them flying like that. Especially when you're on the very edge of the fucking cliff and you just watch them flying over it. Right, so where was that uh, chest that I saw? Oh, so what the fuck is this? I have no idea what that's for. I'm guessing I'm lacking a god power to see that. something over here. Wait a minute. See more pomegranates, it's fine. I wasn't ready, you motherfuck. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm not very good at fighting the Minotaurs. It's like I'm trying to do, like, fancy stuff and I'm doing anything but I'm wasting everything. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get hit, but I would have loved to actually, you know, get the flurry rush. Bam! How did that do so much? There we go. Yeah, you've got to be very tight on that timing with the flurry rush. I'm gonna go looking for some pomegranates after this because I just used up like three fucking potions and I need more. Right, no talking on my part. I need to focus. There we go. There we go, that's what I was looking for. wrong button. Or wrong combination, rather. I mean, I beat it, but I don't feel proud of the fact that I used up, like, three full potions to take that thing down. I could have done much better. That's fine, I'll just get some more materials so I can make some more later. Good thing there's plenty over here, so that, that kind of makes up for it, I guess, somewhat. I think another one fell, but I don't see... Oh, there it is. Any more? Couple more. Oh, there's actually a lot more. Holy shit. Alright, so I guess that kind of makes up for it. Right, so what was I doing again? I was looking for a rare chest. Uh, I think I marked one over... I think I marked one over here. Okay, apparently that's a weapon chest. So I think this one with the body is like armor and this one is a weapon and then like the ones that are neither is just materials or like coins or something. I'm going to assume that's what that means. So there's like a weapon and an armor chest over there. So I guess I'll go to both of those and see what's up. God, this is highly addictive, this game. I'm loving it so far. How long have I been streaming for? 4 hours and 14 minutes? Uh, I'll play this for another half hour or so. Maybe push it to another hour, but I don't know if I'll be playing for that long tonight. Get these figs so I can make attack potions. That's really important. So yeah, I guess there's like a god power that makes you see these guys. Ambrosia. I'm gonna go for that first. At least I got him, kind of. I mean, I did get him, but I didn't do as much damage. Oh. Get up! Why did you walk onto the wrong one, you fucker? Yeah, you can counter. You can... When they wind up for a big attack, you can stop them in their tracks by dashing into them. Jesus. Once I get rid of the one of them, it should be easy.
Okay, that's bullshit. Why didn't the Flurry Rush kick in? Nice. Right over the tree. <laughs> I knocked the tree over. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll need to, like, once I get those chests open, I'm going to go back to the Hall of the Gods real quick because I need to make some more potions. Speaking of, there's some more pomegranates. Plenty of pomegranates up here. I think I've got enough Olympian figs now to make an attack, a couple attack potions. So that will be something I'll do shortly, once I return back to the Hall of the Gods. What is this? Not sure if I can do this right now. Uh, wait a minute. There's some more pomegranates. Is this one of the goddess statues that uh, Thermes told me about? Or is this some unrelated thing? Right, so where were those chests I saw? They're over here. I'll go back to the... Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, the warthogs are piss easy. There's some undead warriors. Oh, they got in the chest. on that parry. <laughs> Forbidden Labrys. Let's see, I got a new axe. Plus 44% damage for 6 seconds on perfect parry. That's story, I guess. Does the base damage change, or is it... I guess it's... I guess the base damage is always the same, it's just that it gives you something secondary. Yeah, the base damage doesn't change, so it's purely just, like, for a different effect. 44% damage for 6 seconds is pretty good, actually. I'll take that. And there you go, there's my first real axe beyond the one that I got at the start of the game. I can upgrade my carrying capacities now. That's good. Yeah, let's go for those chests that I saw. Or one of them. So that must have been the weapon chest that I was tracking. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, but I'm assuming that's what it was. So let's go for that armor chest now, which I believe was over here. I'm guessing it's down here. Yep, 
Yeah, I think it's down there actually. Based on like I was follow I was trying to follow the radar thing. Seems like it might be down here inside this cliff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, good. I done bungled it. I'm guessing the chest is in that room, but I've got to kill these guys first to open it. Or solve a puzzle. <laughs> I thought I could like walk under that waterfall, it's not like that. Right, I'll try to figure this out and then And then I will head my way back to the Hall of Gods. Yeah, I can see the the something in there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, get up there, you. So what is that over there, I wonder? Oh, it's just that thing. Right, so I'm not sure how to open that yet. I can't seem to find any obvious things that would open that. Anyone see anything that kind of, like, sticks out? Because I don't. Wait a minute, is there something in there? Okay, somehow I missed that. There we go. Turns out you just got around it. I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. I need to guide the flames in here. Oh, I see. I can open that from this side. Right, well, I know what to do now because I see the torch out here. I'm supposed to get the, the fire arrows in there.
Oh. Oh. Alright, there we go. We're cooking now. Cooking mama. Wow, I can't believe I missed. There we go. Right, so I think this one contains a piece of armor. Let's see what I got. Strong glare plates. Let's see, what does this do? Strong glare plates. Refills 100% of a health chunk when stunning an enemy. Uh, could be useful. Do I want to get that over this though? Oops. I think I'll change that for now. Because that could come in handy during tough fights. Oh, that's cool. That kind of matches up with my headgear. Alright. I look even more badass now. Glitch, kind of. Like, look at my body, I'm like jittering. You see that? Oh, for fuck's sake. I want to try recreate that, but zoomed in. Never mind. Of course, the one time I try to recreate that doesn't work, but you might have seen it if you look close enough. I'm trying to zoom in and it stopped. for a couple more things and then we'll make our way back. What was this that I tracked? The 665. And I'm not sure what that symbol represents. But apparently it's important so I'm going to go check that real quick. See what that leads to. I feel like I barely scraped the surface with this world. Like there's so much good stuff to check out. Pomegranates, please. Lots and lots of pomegranates all over the place. Yes to that. Very important that I get these. Look how much I've got now. I've got like almost 50 of them. So much! You may argue too much, but I, I, I would argue against that. You can never have too much pomegranates. But this area is like a gold mine for these things.
Right, let's continue. <laughs> I got completely distracted there. Let's continue tracking this thing down. Then I'll head back to the Hall of the Gods and get some stuff done. Up oh, some more pomegranates. May as well loot them while I'm here. No reason not to. If I see like rich pomegranate trees, I'll I'll get them. Because why not? Okay, good thing that one didn't even notice I was here. Nice. Oh, wrong button. Or wrong combination, rather. I wonder... Oh, 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 oh. I didn't realise there was a fucking giant hole down there. Yeah, that's, that's Biff. Down there. Okay, so what I should be doing, actually... If I can bring up the map. Let me see what that pin leads to, because maybe that pin was already completed, like I did the thing there. Uh, Here's the map. So, what did I... Put a pin here for because I don't see any icons. Unless it just doesn't lead to anything. Maybe maybe I completed whatever it was that was over there. I'm guessing there's a fresco challenge if you go up on that statue. Uh, stand up on the shoulder, please. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Still lacking the stamina, though. Can I stand here? No? Ah, oh. Fucker. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going around the other way, then. I guess I'm going up here. Entering Wars Den. Have I been here before? Mm. See a weird thing going on with that stone that I'm climbing through right now. Ah! ah fucker. Okay. I might be able to get up there with the stamina that I've got right now. It's just going to be very tight. I'm going to try something. If I do it from... Yeah! Land on the exact fucking spot. Right, there we go. If I try 
jumping up from here. Maybe I can have just enough stamina to reach that. Yeah, I think I may be able to reach that. If I do a jump and then a wing jump up here, I could grab onto the ledge, maybe. Oh! Well, at least I found a way to prevent myself from taking fall damage. If I just, like, do my death slashes. Right, we'll come back to this. I'm going to go back to the Hall of the Gods now. I'll be wrapping up very shortly, but I think we can do maybe one or two more things. Got enough amber now to do the... what was it again? Increase my potion limit or something? Or like increase... I forgot what it was for, but it's for something, so... Craft max. There we go. And now I, need, I can craft these things. Craft max. Right, so that should... Yep, I've got a, a few attack potions now. I can finish that one mission that requires making attack potions. Um, at least I think I, I thought I did it. Oh, right. Yeah, I can make defense potions, but I don't have what I need for it. I need to find two more of those... I don't even know what they're called. Something... Lotus. But let me look at my potion upgrade, see what I can do here. Oh, that's good. That's like a, that's like draining. You can drain enemies' hit points if you use that, and it's active. You haven't really been using any potions other than the healing ones. I should start using other ones. Polish the pot, that'll make it more effective, apparently. Excellent. What was this again? Skills. Second three hit finisher to the salt combo that interrupts the large creatures, deals 30 damage and refills 40% of stamina chunk per hit. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Sprint. Didn't I? Yeah, I got that one. These must be the things attached to it. X sprint attack. ZR. Uh, I'll save my coins for now because there's like a lot of stuff I can do right now. So I'm going to hold on to that.
Once I get a good bit of coinage, I can come back and buy a few things. How many more ambrosia do I need for this? I think I need another three more. Right, so we'll do a couple more things. Maybe I'll do one more uh, shrine or Vault of Tataros. Ambrosia revealed. I'll tell you what, we'll go for that one, but let's go grab that Ambrosia down there. I won't be able to glide all the way, my stamina is running out. Oh jeez. Well, that's a bad place to land. Why did I change target? Oh, I see. I was trying to turn the camera around. Turns out that's, that changes your target when you're locked on. I always forget about that. Always do. There we go. Oh, there we go. Is that an ambrosia? Oh no, that's mushrooms. Okay, somehow he didn't see me there. there. I should have pinned the, the vault as well, because I'm not sure exactly where it is now. I know it was around here somewhere-ish. I should never get hit by these things, just because they're that easy. Wait a minute. 
Where? Oh. Oh, there it is. Tucked away in that corner. Yeah! yeah! Two more, I think, to get one more health chunk. Right, so we did a Vault of Tartaros. Assuming this one, I have the god powers to, like, do it. And then I'm gonna stop after that. I've been playing this for a good while. Also, what is that? Never mind. I, th I thought I saw something weird there. Oh, is this that rift thing that I saw before? I don't think I can do this right now. Yeah, apparently I can't do that right now. I'm not sure how you're supposed to access that one. Yeah, this one hasn't really been explained to me, like, what the rift is for. Like, the game hasn't really told me what this is and how to use it. So, your guess is as good as mine. Nope. I guess I'll eventually figure out what that's for. Maybe that's, like, a story-related thing that I cannot interact with at the moment. Let's go for that weapon chest. I'll see if I can find one more Vault of Tataros somewhere around here that I've not gone for yet. I love how he doesn't even see me. Yeah, fuck you! Don't remember how to fight Gorgons. I'll take out the Gorgons first. Yeah. The sooner I take them out, the better. into the Gorgon. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, never mind. Nice. Nice. Not nice. Nice. Nice again. Okay, Bill shit on that. That should have been the slow mo witch time thing. Be careful with that. Oh, oh, 
okay then. I guess that chest intervenes. I didn't want to die like that. That's bullshit. I had my health bar was like 90% full and that still fucking killed me. I hope I didn't lose too much shit. I don't know how much I lost there. Oh, that's fine. I just thought it was saved here. Right, okay then. But I don't, I mean, I feel annoyed that that happened. I died that way. False death, by the way. But, but still, that, that sucks. I was waiting, like, I was waiting for him to get as close as possible there so I could flurry rush. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I'm getting a little bit too trigger happy. Okay, that could have been bad. You motherfucker. What am I doing? Oi! Again, I keep trying to turn the camera around, like my natural instinct takes over and I press the wrong button. Alright, I got it. Oh. Cool. Cool fucking hitbox. There. That was a bit anticlimactic there, but I'll take it. Right, now I can clean that chest. Oh, okay then. That, that took a while. It's better be a good one. Better have been worth me dying once. When I would prefer not to die at all. A new weapon, resistance. Okay, well, that's, that's something. Let me see what it does. Nope. Once again, pressing the wrong button. Oh, it's a bow. Okay. So wait, this previous one, let me see what this does. 30% damage with bows while health is full. Charge shot inflicts 150 stun and knocks back small enemies. Sure, I'll go for that. I mean, it's not like I'm at full health most of the time anyway, so I guess this one's better for me. Next time I go back to the forge, I need to like increase my weapon powers. My weapon strengths. Let's look for one more Vault of Tartarus. Let me look around. Yeah, these ones are very far away. Okay, there we go. I guess I'll go for that one. There's also an armor chest over here, so I guess I'll grab that while I'm going there. That's if I can get it relatively quickly. I did not account for the Cyclops.
It was a good thing that, that oh, that rock. Dodge! Ah! I was going to say it's a good thing that Cyclops wasn't actively going after me. That's why he didn't do it, because it was going for the rock. Oh yeah, you want to play a fucking game of carry and throw the fucking rock? Yeah, take that. There you go, you motherfuck. Yeah, how's it feel? Get a boulder shoved in your face. Looks like you want another one? There you go. Have another one. Yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> nice. That was lucky. Nope. Shake. Bastards. I think if you time it just right, you can grab that, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wrong button! I forgot which button was the quick throw. Yeah. Fat fingers. Okay, it's a good thing the game pauses. I'll tell you what happened there. Like, my finger was trying to slide across to the other button. To do a certain thing. And I accidentally hit the home button. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Once I got him stunned there, I completely decimated him. That was good. So yeah, there's a chest in there. Just gotta figure out how to open it. The switch? Wait, is there a switch that I didn't see? Oh, you're right, there is a switch there. I guess I need to put, like, a big boulder down there. Too bad the fucking... Uh, the Cyclops fucking took them all and broke them. I guess I can take that one. Oh, no, that's not. Okay. I can't pick that one up, unfortunately. But I can take that, I guess. Hopefully this one's heavy enough. If not, I can find like several small ones and just stack them. That'll probably work. Again, I'm gonna end the stream very shortly. I've been streaming for five hours at this point. Yeah, I think I need like several of these things. There's one. Oh, that's a big one actually. I think that might actually do it. If I knew I had to use, like, a pressure plate to put, like, big stones down on to open this door, I would have avoided using... I would have avo A, avoided using the stones, and B, try to avoid the Cyclops from using them. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, so what happened to the other stone that was just sitting there? Really? Fuck off. Shit. 
I need, I need one more thing. Maybe I can put a log down, actually. Let's do that. Ah! Uh, nope, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, hang on a second. See, I would throw that across there, but I don't know if that's going to make it like, fall apart, so I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to gently take it down with me. Right, hopefully this is enough. I'm just going to gently set that down in that corner there, and hopefully that will work. Oh. Nice! Stormy Helm of the Vulture. Let's see what this does. So the previous one, for those that didn't see it, 40% damage for 6 seconds when stunning an enemy. 20% damage while in midair. Yeah, it could be good if you want to do air combos more often. Uh, I guess I'll try this one for a little bit. I, I'll, I'll try, that might encourage me to like do air combos more often. Oh, so that looks really fucking cool. I like the, the hairdress thing on the back. The headdress. Or whatever you call it. Like the feathers. Right, let's do that uh, vault of the Tartarus and I'm going to stop for the evening. I've been streaming this for longer than I, I was expecting, to be honest. That's the power of an addictive game, though. That's that's what an addictive game does to you. Oh, I can't believe it! He ba 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 ba. I can't believe that motherfucker moved. I didn't realize I could actually parry him. Probably not all of his attacks, but maybe some of them. Yeah, I can parry some of his, like, his hand attack I can parry. Kind of. Yeah. Why might, why might... Sorry, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. I will try to do that. <laughs> Bye. Just smack him with a fucking rock. That works. Right, so, provided that I can actually do this, I'll just make this the last thing for the evening. Okay, well this is a one ranking, so I should be able to do this. Oh, it's a healing point. The heads of Cerberus.
Yeah, let's get rid of all the bad guys first and I can figure out what's going on with this room. This might be just a fighting arena type challenge. That might be all it is. It's like when you fight those little robot things in Breath of the Wild. Oh jeez. The Guardians, I think they're called. The mini Guardian robot things. Not sure how many of these guys there are in this room. I think that might be all of them. Okay, here's a Gorgon. Apparently that was all you had to do. Oh. I'm guessing this is for the optional chest then, to beat these guys. Oh, get away from him. I wonder if these guys can get hit by those traps. Probably can. I didn't realize I could parry these guys as well. Nice. If you hold down the button, you can eat multiple pomegranates, that's good to know. Right, I got this. Nice. Yeah, that was for an optional chest. <laughs> Ugh. 
I forgot for a second how to glide there. Nice. Right, well that's the optional chest for this one done. I think it's only like one optional chest per vault. A molten fragment, that must be very rare. Whatever that's for. Right, so I think that's the whole challenge done now, that's the whole vault finished. Yep, there's the exit. Excellent. I really want to play more of this, but I have to stop now, so... <laughs> I guess I'll go back to the Hall of the Gods and then save, and then I'll do my my side stuff. I'll, I'll do my, my Hall of the Gods stuff next time I resume this, so that I remember what I was doing. So yeah, this, this game is like, like, the more I play this, the more I'm enjoying it. Pretty good open world adventure. Nice. I've been saying nice a lot tonight, I've noticed. It's a nice thing to say. Oops. Alright, back to the Hall of Gods. Just gonna restock on supplies, then I'm gonna stop. Restock on supplies, and I guess upgrade my shit, and then I'm gonna end it. So, just about to wrap up for the evening. Again, I'd like to continue playing this. It really is fucking fun to play this game. I'm glad that I picked it up. I think this is actually a really fun game from Ubisoft. I'm here selling, if you're buying. Still can't make that though. I think I've got enough coins or whatever it is to upgrade my weapon strength. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade my sword strength. I forgot what it is you need for this. Uh, just materials. Right, okay then, so... Sword strength. Yeah, I'm gonna increase my sword strength to 32. What else can I do here? There we go. I think I can... Let's see, can I do both of these? No, I can't do both. Right, I'll increase my body armor. And that's all I can do for now. What about the arrows? Sure. Sure. Alright, cool. I've spent most of my fucking gems now, but I guess it was worth it. And I have a lot more stuff that I can work with. I guess I'll go back to my potion thing real quick and make some more healing potions now that I've ex expanded my inventory. There we go. Fantastic. I don't need to max out my other potions, like the healing ones are the ones that I use the most. <laughs> That said, I should start getting into the habit of using my other potions when I need them. Because attack potions would be nice for certain enemies, or defense. Uh, let's see, how many more of these do I need to do this? I can't do that yet. See, this, this, and this menu that makes no sense to me because I don't know what it means. 
but I, I don't care. I guess I'll eventually figure out what that means. Like, it doesn't tell me how much I need to, like, do that. Unless... Wait a minute. Let me double check it. Maybe I missed something. Oh, wait. I see it, right? So, it tells you at the bottom you need five, and at the top right corner it tells you how many you've got. I mean, they could have made that look a little bit more clear, but, uh, whatever. Is the stream... Not that the stream's going to be on for much longer, but is it still live? Because I'm noticing Windows is doing some weird shit, so I'm not sure if my internet's dying. Uh, apparently not. Apparently I'm still alive, but yeah. Don't, don't mind me. Sorry, Windows was, like, being weird and I was noticing I was dropping frames. Maybe, like, at Windows is downloading an update or something. So I should probably wrap up. Right, okay then, so let's... Yeah, that's right, this game doesn't have fucking auto-saving, I don't think. Can I overwrite this? Yeah. Right, there you go then. So, I'm quite enjoying this, so this is actually really fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game so far. So, I look forward to playing some more uh, Phoenix Rising in the very near future. Not sure if I'll play more of this before Christmas, since, like, Christmas is only a couple of days away at this point. But I'll do some more of this very soon, maybe at the weekend, like, after Christmas. But when, when is Christmas, actually? Hang on. What day is that this week? Christmas is on Friday, so yeah, maybe at the weekend I can stream some more of this, if I can't stream it before then. So yeah, again, I'll be, I'll be playing more of this soon.